G'day YouTubers and welcome back to my channel. Now look, I had promised to do the panther in this next video and it's it's here. Um, <laughs> um, look, uh, we've had a horrendous week here in Australia. There's uh, been record breaking temperatures all week. In fact, we've had the hottest days for a hundred years. Yes, it's, I mean, there's only a couple of weeks of summer left and we're just scorching here. I've been dripping all over the floor. I mean, a mop up backs the cat. And of course, here, when we have huge temperatures, especially this time of year, we get thunderstorms. So we had massive hail and lightning and everything. In fact, here's a quick video. And that left us without power for three nights this week. So between the melting and the modelling by candlelight and then all of this, my computer shit itself, although I plan to buy a new one next month. Well, the storms and the weather and everything expedited that. So um, not much modelling got done. I've been farting around with a little matchbox kit on the side if you've been on Facebook and watching. So I thought, well, I've got plenty of kits around here you've never seen. So how about dragging out something that I nearly finished. In fact, I'll explain that in a sec. It was 90% done, but I'll finish it off in this video. This is my Trumpeter Aerosani. Now, this was a birthday present a couple of years back from Ennis. G'day, Ennis, if you're watching. G'day, mate. And it is a rip snoring kit. In fact, I, I went and bought the other versions, about three versions of this Aerosani that you can get, and I snaffled them all up. I like this kit so much. It really is. A lovely kit to build as you'll see so what we'll do is because it's been a couple of years since I last did an update on this and we left Boris and Karlov with um, toothpicks up their asses they weren't quite comfortable <laughs> anyhow here's a quick slideshow of what we did and where we got up to and then from then on I'll show you what extra I did from the last video and then we'll cut there's, there's a directing term we'll cut to some live action where I'll finish off the weathering on the good old Arasani. So here's the start and the motor was like a model in itself. It was a joy to put together, it was so much fun. Uh, I didn't really know much about the um, vehicle but building the motor I did some research and found out so much it was, it was really interesting. The body went together no problems at all, there was no filler used at all from memory, well maybe a tiny bit at the front there and I painted the inside the, um, the khaki sort of colour but that was debatable as to exactly what shade it should be. But it all went together beautifully, the prop went on, it's just a lovely little kit to build. I was having so much fun and the suspensions on there. So that was really probably only a few hours work to get to that stage. Uh, the little um, bars at the end there to protect the prop, they took a little bit of cleaning up, it took a bit longer to do those. I had to put some PE on to um, for the sights of the machine gun uh, that took a little while, but wasn't that hard. And that all came up beautifully, and uh, all the little parts fitted wonderfully, and I was very, very impressed with the kit. Boris and Karloff needed a lot of work, and that was discussed in the last video. I needed to put them on a diet and shave the bums off. And then they had sticks up their bum. Poor buggers. So that's where we got up to in the last video. Uh, since then, I have done a lot of work on the Aerosani. Look. Looks almost finished, doesn't it? Yes, you'll be pleased to know Boris and Karlov did get those sticks out of their bums. Yes, they no longer had empowerment in their asses. <laughs> Lucky buggers. Anyhow, um, I did this, and as you can see, there's a, there's a bit of blittering and washing and some chipping and all kinds of shit going on there. And it sort of looks so nice, I just put it in my display cabinet, thought I'll get around to that. And two years have gone by, and I've completely forgotten. Why? Turn around to this side. I didn't do that side. No. <laughs> I, only, I only washed one side and had sort of interrupted, didn't finish it. So, this video, I'll um, just do a little weather and wash on that side. How do you like that? Interested? If not, just fast forward to the end. See the final pics, you lazy buggers. You shouldn't watch my whole videos. How do you think I'm going to get bloody ratings and subscription? God damn it. Ah, it's so hard to make a YouTube channel without you bastards helping me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just yanking your chain, pulling your leg, grabbing on your donger. You know what I mean? 
I get accused of doing too much Australian stuff on this. Well, fuck you. I'm Australian and that's how I talk. All right, look, enough of all this derogation. Uh, derivation? Degradation? I don't know. Dera something, you bunch of deras. Now, um, if there's anybody still watching after that tirade, let's have a look at um, how I accomplished the, um, the washing and the weathering on that side of the aerosetting. So I started by priming. At this stage, I only had ammo mig white, which I used, which was fairly good, but I found it chipped easily. But that turned out to be a really good effect that I used later on. More of that later. But anyhow, everything got primed in white and um, sub-assemblies went together for our dry fit. It was looking quite good. So now I needed to start doing some detail painting. Oh, but poor old Boris and Karloff. They ended up getting super glue up their bums and toothpicks. So they're not too happy. More of them later. So here's the uh, small parts. I dug them out, the motor and the prop and everything. Started working on them. They took a wash beautifully. Uh, the radiator came up nicely, the, the motor and the machine gun. Um, I just put some, basically some... I think some silver on them and then I washed them in a bit of a dark wash and a little bit of dry brushing. Uh, it came out fabulous. Uh, at this point I put the decals on. Um, wasn't much to do, a bit of a star, a bit of a thing goes murky, whatever that says. Um, somebody told me what that said last time, I forget. Anyway, it started to really come alive and I was pretty happy with the look I was getting. Boris and Karloff got a lick of paint. Yes, they were much happier, although they were still grimacing from the toothpicks. But um, pulled them out, put everything together, and that's where I got to, and that's basically the start of this video. So here we are. Boris and Karloff are sitting quite nicely in their um, their aerosenny, and um, that's as far as I got. Everything's uh, dry fitted, so it's all a little bit loose. That's not bad modelling on my part. That part's just sitting there very loose and floppy. So um, I'm actually thinking of keeping the uh, the top off here. I tried to look at ways of making it open but the actual only real flaps are these here and some people have cut those out and made them open but it doesn't really show the motor off so with mine I'm going to have this top piece like fallen off so um, that'll be my Russian bit of engineering because those sort of things just happen. You know? So we might uh, remove a few little bits and pieces here and uh, Boris you can come out. Karloff I'm going to relieve you of your machine gun He's a lot happier now without his um, uh, toothpick up his bum. I tell you what, he, he, was, he was pretty upset. There was a lot of complaints. And it was all in Russian, so I couldn't understand any of it. But I don't think any of it was very nice. And um, steering wheel, there we go. So there we go, that's all of that. I don't know if there's, um, I can't remember if there's decals in the kit or something to those um, dials. I'll have to have a look. I'll have to remember. I know there's a clear part that's missing, I haven't put on yet. So I'll dig in the kit and find that. A windshield. Not much else. I mean, I pretty well built this. Okay, so that side, it's pretty well done. I didn't want to overdo it. I just wanted a slight snowy sort of look. And um, that's what I got. Now, all these chips on here, you might be able to see them. Let's see if I can get in nice and close. See, there's uh, chipping along here. That's actually that Ammo Meek Primer. It started to come off. I forget what happened. I bumped it or rubbed it, and I found it actually chipped all by itself. So I just ran a toothpick all over the place. And um, it actually chipped up quite nicely. And I thought, well, I'll just leave that. I mean, I assume they made these things out of steel or aluminium or something. Well, probably wouldn't be aluminium. It'd be too expensive. Be all metal or whatever. I'm not sure. These could even be made out of wood. I don't know. I obviously didn't do enough research. The springs, well, they um, the box art showed them dark, so I painted them dark. And then I kind of put some rustiness through there, especially all the linkages and everything. They obviously would have been rusted up. Um, you know, the snow would have got to them. And then I just put a gentle wash all the way through the rivets. So it really wasn't that hard. There wasn't much to it. Right, so what we need to do now... Oh, there's other parts missing. I think there's a clear part supposed to go in there. Yes. I've got a bit grubby underneath. There we go. Not that you'll ever see it. But I did it. I think I started to get keen on the... Um, I did, actually. I got keen on the, uh, on the ski, so... I did a bit of work, yes. But then the thing is, you know, when I put it away in the cabinet, it looked fine. <laughs> I don't think I've done anything on the inside. Oh, we can do the inside as well. There we go. We can weather up the inside while we're here. Isn't that nice? Put a bit of filth in there for Boris and Karloff. You'll enjoy that, won't you guys? Look, you guys, you want to play the We want to play the war except for Moose and Squirrel. <laughs> oh dear. Shades of the Varag video. Okay, well, um, let's find the, um, the oils I used last time. 
Um, I think I know. In fact, I could reference the photos. <laughs> will tell me. Oh dear, because the thing is, my um, my methodology and paint set is completely different now. Because if you watch my videos, it's all um, Steiner res now. It's all Steiner res, and um, I've got all those nice uh, acrylic um, washes, life color ones. But we'll go back and we'll do this old school. Well, school I was doing then. I'll use. I know they were. I think were Ammo Mig washes, and this was Ammo Mig um, primer, which had been sealed. I put a clear coat on that. It'd probably been a, a some sort of spray coat at the time. Who knows? Two years ago, I had no idea what I was doing. And you might say I have no idea what I was doing today as well. <laughs> All right, let's wash this sucker. It's been a few days because the storms came back, would you believe it? And so um, the weather's just been sort of too horrible for shooting video or doing anything or uploading to boob tube. But anyhow, I put it on because uh, I could still model even though it was raining. I just couldn't do videos. And um, I, uh, while the whole thing was disassembled, I used some of my life colour. Um, this one's red dust, which is, yeah, I reckon it was close enough to what I needed. And I, I, that, um, that gave me a lovely wash inside, a bit of a dusty sort of appearance. So that's worked really well. And I've also got the acetate screen now and the cover for the, um, the front headlight there. Here's a pic. As you can see, I uh, was about to launch my own vehicle into space. Take that, Elon Musk! <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't have the rocket power technology. But anyhow, I did. I would. I could. So there, you should. And um, you may notice Boris and Karloff in the back here. They're not looking happy. You can see their little sad faces again. And I'm sorry, guys. We have to go back to empowerment, and it's for your own good, because we need to give you a wash. You had two years, you could have had a bath. No, 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 you didn't. So you're going to have to have a wash. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, yeah, so I, got, I put the wash on in there and the acetate on the, um, the headlamp there, which you may be able to see. don't know. It doesn't look much different, does it? But there actually is a cover on there now. I'd already painted the inside of that. So yeah, there you go. Give it a reflection. So that's, um, that's all done. And uh, the, um, the dashboard... You can hardly see it in there. And by the time fat old Boris gets in there, you won't see a thing. But here's a pic. Uh, I actually did something with dials. I couldn't find a decal. I, there was no decal in my um, in my kit box. And I remember I'd, I'd bought a set for um, a Jeep. And I bought a whole lot of these dry transfer decals for um, my little Jeep aid Jeep. And I had such a devil of a job putting them on. I think I wrecked two of the sets. And I was only by the third set I figured out how to put them on because you don't use water, you see? So that was my first mistake. <laughs> and dry decals, oh, look, I don't know, I'll never use them again. I just couldn't get the hang of them. And so I'd already used them up. So no decals, I just put some strokes on the dials and put bugger it. And as I say, by the time good old fat Boris is in there, well, you're not gonna see anything. But it's done. So that's all done. So then I thought, there's no reason I couldn't cement all this up, which I have done. I've turned the machine gun out the way, um, luckily. I hadn't cemented that in, which if I'd realised that when I was pulling Boris out before, it would have been a lot less fiddly. But anyhow, I've now cemented down the um, centre section here, and I've cemented in the radiator and the motor, so everything is locked down and ready to go, because we've got to do a wash over everything anyway. Because although I'd washed the side of the body, I had never washed the centre piece, and I had never washed basically around the radiator. So that's what we're going to do now. Now, it has been years, as I said, so trying to work out what I did. Now... I know it's sort of a bit of rusty colour, so I think it's like a light wash, but also there's a bit of a softness there, so I think I might have used the cursed soil. I noticed in the photos that I had, I'd also, there was a blue-black wash I'd used, but I think that went on the motor and, um, and a few of the other parts that I went out, like the machine gun, I used the dirty blue-black wash. I don't see any blue-black on here at all, and I don't think I want to use it. Being on the other side, uh, it doesn't have to be exactly the same because you'll never see the two of them at the same time. So well, that's good, isn't it? I'll be able to get away with a bit of, you know, shenanigans. And the top, well, I've got to do the top join areas. But um, if I do the other side first, I'll see how close a colour match I can get. And then when I go to do the top, uh, we'll see how it looks. But I mean, it could all be a little bit different. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Stop stressing Gary and any. Goodness me. If anybody should be upset about here, it is it, Boris and Carl. Look at those poor bastards. Okay, let's wash them first and <laughs> take them out of their misery. Now, figure painting isn't something that I'm brilliant at. Um, it's something I do when I have to. 
But in this case, well, we've got to do Boris and Karloff because the um, Aerosene looks a bit naked without it. It's the same as I'm, I'm having to put figures in my aircraft now because I'm doing them wheels up. And now we're going to use some um, of this. So with this stuff, it's water-based. So first of all, you um, you just get on and you actually put water on the thing. Just like you would if you put um, thinners on... Um, when you're going to do an oil wash, when you're going to do an enamel wash, you usually put a light coat of thinners on to help everything run. Now I hope, oh, I think he's had a, he's had a clear coat. Doesn't matter anyway. This will still work. This stuff's kind of amazing. This um, acrylic, that light colour is acrylic, by the way. Rambling on here. So you get a bit of water on and it'll already start running into all the crevices. Um, you don't want too much. I've probably put a little more on than I need to, but that's only because... The lights are going to dry everything out, aren't they? Okay, so on with this stuff. I'll give it a bit of a shake and I'll um, grab a little brush. Never organised how you do. Got to make yourselves bumping iPad. Everything's going wrong. Okay, so just like any other wash, you kind of just you know tap it in. <laughs> if you had any on your brush, it really helps. And it'll fall in all the crevices. And that's exactly what this life colour is doing. Sort of. I don't know. Can you see what it's doing? Oh, I can't see it. Oh, there we go. It's doing its job there. Look at that. Beautiful. So, a bit of burnt umber. Yep, it's picking out the detail there. Lovely. Now, as I say, I am not an expert. This is not a tutorial. Oh, please. Don't write in and give me 10 suggestions about how to do it. And um, There are people that do brilliant figure painting. My friend Duck does it. And um, look, you know, they've shown me some of the techniques and there's hours and hours and hours of work and, and, and I lose patience. Honestly, I do. It's, um, it's not for me. I know I do a lot of fiddly things, but I, I don't know. I draw the line when it comes to figures. I just, I get bored, I sort of. You know, put a light shade on, put a dark shade on. I just want to get them done and move on. In fact, if you've ever really watched my stuff, I find the fastest, easiest way to get things done anyway. Um, well, that's how it starts out anyway. All right, it's a basic wash. So at least Boris looks a little better than Karloff. He's got some details popping out. And I'll do a bit more when we're off camera because... It's always hard doing things when you've got cameras and things in your face. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wash Boris and Co-off, get their stickiness off for the last two years of sitting there eating borscht and Arizani, and um, then we'll move on and we'll do the um, weathering on the side. Now I've left Boris and Carlos overnight to dry. Not that I need to, they're acrylics. I basically left Boris and Carlos overnight because I needed some sleep. And um, overnight we had a massive big storm again. It's even been raining this morning. You'll, you'll probably hear... Um, rain in the in this video. I'll try and get this thing shot finished. Uh, I did a lot of work on um, on these guys. I actually ended up using three different wash colours to get the look that I wanted because that um, that burnt umber was okay, but I needed sort of a slightly different. It was a bit too obtuse, a bit too stark on the um, tunic. So I actually got some um, burnt olive green and I popped that on just on the tunics. They look good. And then the faces look a little bit too brown. They look like these guys have got suntans. And I actually use a little rusty colour. Anyway, end up using sort of a few. As usual, figures just take forever. So what was going to be just a quick little slap it on, they ended up spending over a bloody an hour and a half, nearly two hours. And they probably he still missed one of his eyes. Don't know how I manage that. Poor old Boris, his left eye. Anyhow, I'll probably still do a bit more work on them. But um, here we go. We'll, um, oh, dear. Was it good for you? Yes, it was. Okay. So he can go back in now with everything cemented in. His hands were set to hold that steering wheel. So there we go. He looks quite smart in there. Good on you, Boris. Look quite happy. Karloff. All right. I removed his off camera just in case there's any kiddies watching. So now with that cemented, his hands are exactly positioned to hold his machine gun. So... Yeah, mate, or something like that. 
Right, well, um, that's sort of looking the part, isn't it? And the, um, the wash and, and a little bit of work on them has made a heck of a difference, I think. They, um, they look so much better. I mean, we can, uh, look at that, we can zoom in a bit. We see a bit of facial expression and sort of they're, um, they're equally as grubby as everything else. That's what we want it. That's what we want it. Okay, well, what um, I'm going to do now is what I promised to do in the video, at the beginning. Put your teeth back in, Harry Udini. Goodness me. That's all, folks. Um, sorry, it's the first thing in the morning. I need another cup of coffee. Uh, let's wash this side. Get this buddy thing done. Because you've all been watching long enough and keep, you know, no doubt everyone's going, do the wash, do the wash, get on with it, Harry. Oh, dear. Okay. Time to do the wash. I check back in um, my photo log on Facebook to see what I had done when I was building this uh, kit. And I'd actually used some um, Tammy Panelite, which is sort of a lazy, easy way to get around it. So I'm going to um, use that again, because uh, that's fast and easy. And I'd, I'd use a little bit of black on the, um, on the springs. So let's do that. So starting with the brown. This stuff's really easy because you get an applicator. So we'll um, just slip that on. And it looks horrendous, doesn't it? Yes, it doesn't matter. Because I'm going to do more with it. I think that's close to the colour. If not, I'll add a little bit of the rust in there. And then what we do now is we add the... Um, and we wipe with the thinner. So now with our brush, just steady this, try not to step right in. Now we can sort of get some runs happening and get rid of the worst of it. So we only really want an effect. As you need it quite a bit. So we only really want it sticking on those rivets. dry on camera and so we start to get more of a washing effect and a basque <laughs> it's just a matter of working that getting rid of what you don't want good thing about working the enamels is you can come back you know days later you can to a certain extent with those new um, life color acrylic washes you can do um, you can come back later it's got a remover built in so um, yeah we're just trying to replicate what I did last time you wouldn't think with all this rain how cool it is today that things would dry so quickly but they do but yeah as I was saying with the um, with the enamel washes you get days and days and days and you know, I don't, don't even know what the time limit is there we go so working with um, Working with less, you get more, as always is the case. And that's pooling nicely down the bottom there, which is fine, which is the effect I want. I think it's kind of my idea. Remember, it really wasn't that hard. I saw I kind of slapped it on, messed it around, um, got roughly what I wanted, posted a few pics online, and people go, ah, oh, expert work, you know. Yes, you've really, you know, done. And I don't. I don't do expert work. I, I do what pleases me, and I do it in the easiest way that I can find possible my time is a premium and my weather is crap <laughs> yeah I'll keep going uh, you sort of see where I'm going here we'll just do a bit of speed up motion because otherwise this video is gonna run for hours in their little arrows, Annie. And that's it. I could probably do some more chipping and you never know, one day I might go back and do a bit more. But at least it's washed and weathered on both sides now. Boris and Carl are finished, all my parts are cemented in. As far as I'm concerned, I'm calling this done. So there you go. That is my arrows, Annie. And Boris and Carl are much happier now without those um, toothpicks in their rectums. <laughs> And uh, that's it, I'm done. And it just stopped raining and the sun is trying to come out. So that might be a sign. 
So we'll leave it there. That's it. We're done. So um, it's goodbye from Australia and it's Huru from Harry Udini. Yeah, that's what done, yeah.